never eat it. Nothing ever tastes like right this. I'm gonna tell you right now, and this is being real, that is literally the smoothest that's ever felt. So today we're gonna to be installing the Clayton Off-Road 2.5 Overland Plus kit. This kit is pretty much maintenance free and looks like the durability is gonna be really good. Stay tuned to the end of the video here and you'll get to see us wheel it. Yeah, we got a gnarly trail and it just crushed those springs. Trashed them. Of course, they aren't very heavy duty either. No. Well, I'm out here at Jeep Kings in Stratford, Missouri. If you've been following our channel for any period of time at all, you know that we've been using Jeep Kings as our preferred shop since the beginning of time. Time for our channel. Too windy to hear much out here right now, but let's go back in and check out and see how the build's going. I'm gonna plan another Moab next week. Life we live. Watch the internet professional. Think this thing will ride better? Should. Shop, they own a pie shop. Definitely looks like it's sitting higher to me. I had to laugh when you had Brandy's name off of it, her standing there like this. Yeah. Got to adjust the steering wheel. It looks good. So I'll take a second here to mention because I know people are going to ask. 
This is the Overland Plus 2.5 inch suspension lift. Now, I've paired that with 37 inch tires. Haven't had any issues, although I will say the wheel well in the rear gets completely filled up at full flex, which means the 37 inch tire just barely rubs the plastic. Other than that, 37 inch tires on a 2.5, you're good to go. What's up guys, we're out here at Southern Missouri Off-Road Ranch, and if you have been watching our videos, keep up with our social media, you know that we have added the full Clayton suspension onto our Jeep. And we've never had Clayton before, we've never dealt with it before, but we've heard nothing but good things. So, really no better place to test this suspension out than coming to Southern Missouri Off-Road Ranch in Missouri, the southern part of it. We're gonna try to get flexy, because if you saw our last episode that we shot out here at Southern Missouri Off-Road Ranch, we got so flexy in one spot that we actually crushed our both of our rear springs and pretty much ruined the suspension. So, we got some new bump stops, we got some new, I don't know, basically all the suspensions there. I don't know enough about it to really talk about it, but we'll show you what we got. I'm gonna tell you right now, and this is being real, that is literally the smoothest that's ever felt. And I just came down that two weeks ago. Not all the sloshing back and forth. It just like, it was like steps. Like the tires stepped down in the hole and stepped out. And I stayed pretty steady in here. I kind of wish, I guess I could show the camera in here with my head. But um, before it was like, you come down that and you're kind of jerking and bobbing and it was just smooth as could be. So, so far I'm loving it. I'm gonna try to get on this steeper spot here just so we can kind of see what it looks like. I mean, it's just as smooth as can be. Like, look at my head in here. the hill and so far it's like this is the smoothest the suspension's ever been so uh didn't knock at all didn't come you know when we got off camber the the frame never touched the ground like just it was just like rubber sliding the entire time so it, it worked out well um i thought for sure i was gonna have to kind of pump the suspension up a little bit but i don't have to like it's gonna i think it's gonna speak for itself so We'll probably try to get on that same flexi trail that would basically just ruin the springs on. So we're gonna head over there, do that, and uh, then I should be able to give you some kind of information about it. But I'm kind of distracted right now because literally everybody going by in their Jeep is staring at me hardcore. Sure, sure. Hey, Brandon. <laughs> he said better, Brandon. Hey, how's it going? So anyway, what I was saying is it's really soft on the trails, yet, I noticed like when we're driving on the road, it doesn't feel softer on the road. It, it feels just tight enough and and uh, the handling's still good on, on the tarmac.
shoot a little bit in right here. I got my CO2 right here. And you just turn the CO2 on. Some dumbass commented on the video last night. Oh, you've got your CO2 rated for 200 PSI and that's only 150 PSI hose. It says right there, 150 on my CO2. Just people talking shit, man. That's what they love to do. That's gotta be. Hand sanitizer. Oh, I can tell you right now, he sways a lot more back and forth. Just that one little bump right there. Yeah, this one definitely feels a little more uh, like it kind of sloshes you back and forth a little bit. <laughs> you don't notice that? I noticed it almost immediately when we got in here. Mine sounds cooler for sure. Do you have an aftermarket muffler on here? Yeah, yeah, I did a video about it. You must not have seen that one. I just can't tell. It doesn't sound like it's any louder than mine. Oh, shit. This thing sounds like a 4XE. Yeah, so it... <laughs> now it still rides good, though. It's riding good in here, handling shit good. But I definitely do feel a little more jitteriness in this one. His does bounce you back and forth just a little bit more. Other than that, it rides good, feels good. Uh, I don't know what the road dynamics of this suspension are, but... I can tell you right now, I'm super impressed with Clayton and, and their whole setup because not only does it ride good, when you just look at it to comparatively to the to the metal cloak that's on here, it's yeah, the, it's way beefier. Tire, guys, it definitely really rides good in here. To kind of touch on that point, um, so far, if you're breaking down metal cloak to Clayton, I'm definitely digging the digging the Clayton. His definitely feels bumpier. And I don't want to keep saying it to him because I know he <laughs> doesn't like it. But like right there, that was rough. Yeah, it feels more rough for sure. And I definitely haven't felt anything that rough in ours all day pretty much. Which sucks for him because this is about one of the more expensive suspensions that you can buy. But I'm just trying to be honest with him. I'm not trying to talk shit to him. Just, it's definitely bumpy, definitely harder. Um, and I think altogether it was like 5000 or $6,000. No, with the Clayton. Oh. I don't know what metal cloak offers. But I don't know, man. I don't know if it's shocks or if it's springs. But uh, you're definitely getting more. You can feel the bumps a little more in yours, for sure. I don't wonder if you switched over to Clayton Springs, if that would take care of it. Let me look at the difference. Those springs are low coiled a little bit to that to the dual rate. Yeah, and see, those are stretched up a lot. These these coils here, it's like they're they're stretched out, like they're so firm. The hard ride is coming out of the rear, not the front. We're pretty much finished up for the day. The suspension has been better than we thought it would be, but stay tuned because we have some more really exciting. Just when you thought the suspension couldn't get any better, it's about to get way better. And I promise you, you don't have any idea what I'm talking about. You've probably never even seen it, but you're getting ready to. So, hope you come back for that. We're really happy with Clayton so far, and we hope to see more trails with it and get out there. But. Until next time, subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and more importantly than all of it, share our content. And we'll see you on the next one. All right, let's go ride. Watch your toes when he comes by. Mm -hmm.